Now, arsonists are being blamed for dozens of fires across California, including the Lake County fire that torched that community. Two people have been arrested within the last week for two separate fires, and experts say their motives aren't always the same. So, what's in the mind of an arsonist? CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw joins us now with the answer. Yeah, Tony and Christina, turns out there are several classifications of arsonists. Some are pyromaniacs and are obsessed with fire, others have ulterior motives. It is a tragic day, however, when we identify any individual who intentionally starts a fire. 40 year old Damon Pashilk of Lake County is facing 17 counts of arson for destroying parts of this small community and leaving so many asking why. We don't know. We just don't know. Pashilk was an inmate firefighter and has been a suspect in other arsons. Experts say he could be acting on a hero impulse. He's getting a thrill to see the fire engines roar. Coming roaring up the street with the lights and sirens and the multitude of engines that are, are responding. And he enjoys seeing all this action going on. Retired state arson and bomb investigator Larry Navarrete says arson has set fires for many different reasons revenge, fraud, the thrill of it, and others for vanity. Wayne Huntsman took this selfie video after he started the King Fire in El Dorado County that burned for 27 days in 2014. It shows him narrowly escaping the fire. Show off his knowledge or maybe where he, the fire is, make him look good. Tuesday afternoon, Metro Fire saw this blaze across Highway 50 and a man running from it. They say Charles Anderson is responsible for setting multiple fires along the way. Neverett says arsons are tough crimes to investigate and sometimes the motive is even harder to understand. We'll find out why they did that. And a lot of times it was just the thrill of it. And statistics show 25% of fires in the U.S. are arson and only 10% are prosecuted. Investigators say the evidence is usually circumstantial and seldom do they get an eyewitness. And the damage they cause to the, obviously the structures, but just people's personal lives. Mm -hmm. It's Everything. truly devastating. All right. Jennifer, thanks.